is she and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hey girl hey we do all things beauty hair and lifestyle here on this channel so if you're into any of that sort of content i hope you do your girl a favor and join the family got we're blonde who is she i've never had blonde hair and i'm so excited I told myself that i want to be a little more daring this year now that your girl is no longer working her corporate gig and try out a few different colors styles because i mean just go crazy with my hair really and i was surfing amazon like i do almost every night and i came across this really cute blonde bob she cost 68.99 so we got her for a steal and she is human hair and um she's a vibe a couple of housekeeping things before we get into the video really quick again we are almost at 50,000 subscribers if you caught my last video you know that i'm doing a huge giveaway once we reach 50,000 subscribers there will be a three draw giveaway number one winner will receive a luxury brand new wig in a cute little mystery box and then there will be two additional mystery boxes with one gently used wig that i have featured here on my channel and when i say gently used i'm talking one or two wears so if you're not interested in that please do not enter the giveaway but for those of my babes who do not mind a gently loved wig the winner number two and number three will receive a gently loved wig along with the mystery box each mystery box comes with a sephora gift card for a mystery amount and then a few other of my favorite hair care goodies and maybe even a little extra surprise so um stay tuned for the official giveaway rules but long story short all you need to be doing is follow me here on youtube and also over there on instagram and look for the official giveaway video with instructions so you can comment and get entered into the draw yeah so without further ado honey let's get right into this review on this gorgeous blonde amazon cost effective beginner friendly bob y'all so the wig is by lovigs lovigs love wigs i'm not sure how to pronounce that but it is on the screen it is in color 613 it is their blonde wig with the transparent lace and i got mine in inches 10 it comes in 8 10 and 12 and i want like a more shorter bob but not too short so i went with the 10 so this is what the inside of the wig look like looks like even though it is it says 13 by 4 you really don't have much parting space in there it comes with three combs along the front one comb in the back and it does come with an adjustable strap the hair is extremely light and buoyant like i find most blonde hair to be it just has no weight to it it feels extremely light and the density was 150 percent now i have some old raggedy braids on my hair so do not mind the crust from a uh, a previous crochet but I am just taking some got to be uh, gel and I am slicking back my hair and I'm going to leave it a little bit wet and tacky before I put on my cap and then I'm just going to press the cap into that semi wet um, gel I feel like it helps with the hold I was really self-conscious about this not holding so I layered up the gel in the spray because I didn't want to use actual bond glue now for the wig, I like to use a mocha color wig. I feel like it just eliminates a step and um, you don't have to put your foundation on. I feel like this color is like perfect for my scalp. I do have these um, wigs in all of the, um, the, the materials that I'm using in my Amazon storefront. So if you want to check that out, I will have that below. So now I am just taking a little bit of the even wig uh, lace bond um, in the extreme hold. And then I am spraying that along my hairline. And then I'm just taking this um, edge control brush that I absolutely love because it actually has a spatula on the end. I actually have not found many of these. I actually added this to my Amazon cart as well because it's really helpful for doing this ball cap method I find anyway so if you're interested in that also check out the storefront but I am just kind of going along and then pressing that in as I go from ear to ear and I put a little bit extra love on the ear part because I find that my ear taps they kind of lift up a little bit so I'm then going to go back on top of that with the got to be gel again just only on um the ear tabs though again just to make sure that it's sticking down and it is not lifting up so after I press all of that in, I am going to um, let it dry for a little bit. And then I went in with my blow dry on cold setting until it was completely dry. So now I am cutting off the excess lace. I do not cut the band. I saw someone, I do not know who it was. Um, I was looking at a couple of ball cap method videos. I've looked at at least five or five or 10 before I attempted it. This was my first time attempting a ball cap method. And I saw that um, a couple of people actually left the band on, which I found was genius so I just left the band on and then cut out my ear tabs as you can see here please be careful when you're cutting out this excess lace I know it looks like I'm going kind of fast but I have it sped up but I was super careful to make sure I don't clip my skin because 
it's really easy to do so. So just lifting that up and then cutting off the excess lace. If you guys know how to do a ball cap method, you can skip this part. But um, I did want to show anybody. This is my first time. It is super easy. And um, if you watch a couple videos, you should be able to get it. Now I am taking that got to be gel and I am just laying down the edges that rolled up from me cutting off that excess lace because you do get a little bit of roll up from when you're pulling it and cutting it. And I did do it slightly above my hairline just to make sure I don't get any um, excess spray or anything on my edges. I need to protect the edges. Now I am throwing on the wig really quick just to kind of see how it's looking, how it's sitting. As you can see, this transparent lace is extremely stark. It's very, very, very light. I am going to go in and tint this lace in a second with a super quick, easy hack. You'll see that in a minute here because it's just too white. So I'm taking the Eben Tint Spray. I believe I saw, um, is that your hair? Or my girl Kyra Sean, either one, I love both of them. One of them mentioned this lace tint spray and I ran and grabbed it. It is so simple and easy to use. You want to make sure that you are very light handed with this stuff because it is comes out fast and it comes out pigmented and you want to make sure you're not um having your wig on like a flat surface you want to hold it up so that it doesn't bleed through too much especially on blonde hair mine did bleed through but it was the perfect amount it gave it this natural root look to it that I wasn't even going for I was just trying to tip the lace but it ended up working out you can see it peeking through the lace um a little bit in here look look at the difference look how that's just blending into my skin this tint spray comes in like 10 shades. Again, I also have this in my Amazon storefront under my hair products. The link will be below and I'll probably link in each individual item as well in case you don't want to have to go through my storefront um, just so if you're interested in any of these products. But look how good that looks. It just makes it blend so much better because this lace is very stark. Um, so now I'm just pinning back the sides and I'm making sure I'm combing all the hair back because I don't want to get that um, into the... Um, I don't, I don't really want the edges to be too slick down. So I kind of pull everything back and I cut these three little slits to kind of control how I'm laying the lace down. I work so hard on this wig, you guys. I've never took so long applying a wig ever in my life, but I, this was blonde. So I was so scared that any wrong movement and if I went too fast that it was going to look crazy. So I really took my time with it. Here you see me just cutting out the ear tabs because... Um, it was a little bit of excess lace kind of hanging over. Um, while I'm doing this side note, this um, lace, it is not a full lace frontal. You only have about an inch and a half on the sides of lace. And then in the center, you have about 13 by four, like a little closure. So you really can only do like a good middle part on this wig. You really cannot get a, a decent side part out of this wig because you don't have much lace. The whole front isn't lace. It's not a full lace frontal. It's like a closure with again, about an inch and a half of lace on each side. Um, but I want a middle part, so it works just fine for me. Um, at now, I'm just taking that um, gel, the got to be gel first, and then I am going immediately on top of that with the even wig spray, and then um, I'm laying down that center part. Again, I find that cutting the slits in there. It, it helped me just to kind of manage it better. Sometimes I, fi I find it overwhelming when I'm trying to lay the whole wig down, the front down at once. Working in sections, it will change the game for you. And then I'm just taking and pressing the hairline into that glue and spray mixture. As you can see on my white rope, this wig shed a lot. I did not wash this wig or comb it out before I applied it. I would highly suggest giving it a good at minimum co-wash just to get all of the excess hair. I found there was a lot of excess hair inside this wig that you really just kind of need to shake out and wash out. So do be mindful of that. This wig shed a lot. But after I really got the wig applied, ran my flat iron through it and ran a paddle brush through it to get all the excess hair, it didn't tangle anymore. I mean, it didn't shed anymore for the rest of the day. But there is a lot of loose hair that you might want to wash out before you actually apply this wig because as you can see, this black robe looks a mess right now. Um, so now I'm just laying down either side using the same method, a layer, a light layer of gel and then a light layer of the even wig bond spray um and all both of these wash right out with warm water if you're worried about that at all this neither of these are like glue so your wig is not like glued down it comes right off um and then um now i'm laying down this other side make sure that again you're pressing the hairline into that gel and spray mixture so that it really gets a nice secure hold now I'm just taking this band and then I'm going to throw that on while I go and get my face beat really quick. And then 
as you can see, the wig kind of has like this real hard bump on the ends that is not sleek that is not the look that we are going for we're not going for miss edna so i ran a flat iron through this just one quick pass i had it on like 400 425 the hair didn't react weird to the heat at all it ran through and was as smooth as silk so now i am back with my face done and the hair straight so now taking off the headband i did realize after taking this off now i am again this is my first time doing the ball cap method i did bring the glue in not the glue i'm sorry the gel in this spray down a little bit too far on my forehead so you will see me lifting and peeling that lace up um off of my forehead and it's left so, sort of a cast when i just went over with my makeup so it was fine um but just want to make sure you don't pull the gel and the spray down too far you want to make sure that it's just right there on um, your hairline so now I am just taking those scissors again being extremely careful and in a wiggling motion so that the, it's not like a straight cut I am cutting off all of the excess lace so yeah um I don't know if this method is anything revolutionary I honestly just took a few tips that I've seen from a few different um youtubers youtube university <laughs> has taught me um and then i just applied what i thought was best for me and then i left the rest so this is probably a culmination of maybe 10 different videos that i've watched on just um tacking down your lace child so now i'm just taking my um edge brush and i'm just combing through the edges to get any um, excess uh, gel or spray off it because I didn't want a really really hard hole I did want the edges to seem light so and then from just the, um, the band it kind of really stuck the edges down and had them um, pretty stiff so I just kind of combed through that to get some of that excess product off I thought I wanted some baby hairs so I started cutting in some baby hairs then I realized I did not want baby hairs at all so you can skip this step if you're not interested in baby hairs uh, but if you do want a little little something something then um you can cut baby hairs in it but i think the wig looks better without it i end up later just combing it out because i didn't like the way the baby hairs looked now as you can see this wig is a little bit uneven like the bob isn't very blunt it isn't very straight i found that i did have to go in and clean up the bob with some scissors as you see me doing here just because there was a couple of um just jagged ends um, they could have done a better job at cutting the bob. Um, but for the money, it's really not a bad price. Um, if you like really thick bobs, this bob is not for you. This hair is very light. Again, the density is 150%. I mean, it felt like it was nothing on my head, which I really love. I don't, when it comes to wigs, I don't like really, really thick wigs. But if you like a really full bob, this one might not be for you because it is very light and blonde hair is naturally kind of light and buoyant anyway. So it's very light and fluffy. Um, so now, yeah, this is kind of what the slick down looks like. This is what the back looks like. The hair is very um, kind of just bouncy and I actually really, really like it. They say that every person has their blonde and I've just kind of I've never known what my blonde was because I've never worn blonde hair, but I'm liking this really sort of yellow toned um, blonde color. Like I really, really like it. I didn't want anything too icy. I really want like a true blonde and I really feel like this is my blonde, honey. Now I did do a little lace tinting here. So you kind of got like a sort of a brown root, but not like rooted, if that makes sense. I feel like that kind of just adds to the kind of natural <laughs> look of it and just kind of makes it blend a little bit more i feel like that just kind of really um goes with my skin and it just kind of makes it a little more suitable so that was just like a little quick touch i did not even intentionally i was just trying to tip the lace because it is a transparent lace and it was very stark so but with that it kind of seeped through a little bit and gave me a little bit of rooting at the part and i really really